Hospital tells employee to take down American flag as we talk about this whole uh, oh God, it's the pussification of America. Listen to this story. We'll get back to the Korean thing. We got to learn about Korea today, North Korea. Yeah, let's especially. do a little learning. We're stupid, Jonathan. He probably knows everything. Let, did, let's did get the state bird is a, What's their number one export? Textiles. <laughs> Is this true? Textiles. Wait, more more knowledge on North Korea. We got to find out uh, which is right and which is wrong. Uh, Mike in Boston. What's Mike? up, Mike? What's happening, boys? Good, happy birthday, Jimmy. Thank you, Mike. All right. Uh, I was stationed out in Korea probably about five years ago. Not North Korea, but Korea, and they are. Uh, they bury their dead like two feet in the ground. So when you hit like a real soft part of ground, you oh. step on like human bones. Come on. Uh, Everybody gets trench foot out there. It's friggin' disgusting. Why would they only bury him two feet? I could not tell you, good sir. Hmm. I, I am I am not Korean. Two feet? That, that, you think that's know, true? I don't know about that. All right, well, I okay. wouldn't put Tap anything up, past him. All right, thank you, Mike. I wouldn't put anything past these uh, Here's the hospital story. lunatics. Lakers won last night? Yep, 103-94. <clears throat> Cleveland's not going to make the finals. NBA's not going to be happy with that. <laughs> Lakers magic. Eh. 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 Not that you care. I know, Ann. I understand. I don't know. But the NBA, they really, really wanted the big matchup, LeBron and Kobe, but it ain't happening. It ain't gonna happen. Hey, dude, it's like I say, life's what happens when you make other plans. Uh, John Lennon said that. (laughs) Debbie McLucas, a hospital supervisor, is just sick about what happened to this. It's a three foot by five foot flag. Debbie hung it into her office at Kindred Hospital in Mansfield. One person was offended. She says another supervisor, born in another country, complained it was offensive Fuck and yourself. took it down. I mean, I was. I was just totally speechless. I mean, it's like, you're kidding me. Debbie's husband and sons are former military. She told me it'd be okay. Her daughter is serving in Iraq. I just wonder if all those young men and women over there <laughs> all right. sorry, are really doing this for nothing. Sure, you do wonder sometimes, fuckers. Jesus I put up a Christ. flag with two bad knees <laughs> and a dream to be. Yeah, did you? <laughs> where, are we, where are we at with flags at work? That's just amazing. How some fucking Here we uh, go. asshole go. from another country can say that the American flag is offensive in America. Go back to your shithole that you left and came here for some fucking reason to get a, a better job so you can fucking take other people's uh, uh, flags down. So you could speak your piece and not be uh, uh, persecuted, you piece of shit. Who is this person? I believe they were. What did they say? Out, yeah. Debbie says so hospital higher ups told her others had also complained. I was told immediately it wouldn't matter if there was only one person. It has to come down. As far as patriotism is concerned, Debbie said her bosses told her this should suffice: the flag outside their office. Corporate hasn't made a final decision though. Debbie hopes the American company, chosen as fortune's most admired, will back her patriotism. And I find it very frightening because, you know, if I can't display my flag, what other freedoms will I lose before exactly. all is said and done? It's the oh, pussification of the workplace yep. of, of, of this whole country. Right. And the it, complaining it, employee is an African immigrant who has lived in the United States 14 years. Go back to your fucking Petri dish. You're diseased continent go back to your diseased fucking shithole continent you monkey fucker you green monkey fucker you know what happened when they fuck green monkeys right no i don't aids <laughs> really <laughs> that's what i heard years ago i don't know if it's true it had someone had to fuck one <laughs> someone had to do it. you're not they're, they're just hopping around all buttons. naked their assholes Cutest hanging out buttons <laughs> are you all right <laughs> i get so fucking annoyed yeah, I'm not when happy. savages yeah. Come over here uh, and, and, and use this country. Use it. And then tell some woman she can't hold an American flag. <laughs> Hang an American flag. Whoa. God damn, Danny can derail me in a second. I don't know. There's a cute little monkey on a naked man's lap playing with his genitals. <laughs> there you go. You happy now? By the way, there is an update to the story. She's, she there? has been allowed to hang the flag. No. Oh, yeah? Yes, she has. Um... I guess this is one of those rare, rare cases where the stupid media actually helped. Oh, good. Um, it, it, it posted on its website about the incident. It read in part, the disagreement was over the size of the flag, not what it symbolized. We have invited the employee to put the flag back up. 
Um, I think she's saying that they, uh, that the hospital CEO called and apologized to her. What do do? Um, and uh, she said that she did put the flag back up, but she oh, said that they never said anything about the size. Here's what, they probably just complained. Um, some fucking like you said. That Let me tell you, African some fucking national immigrant country. shithead comes over here and, and, and should be should be kissing that flag, yep. should be smooching it. You got a job, you got a roof over your fucking head because of this country. Go back and take a look where you came from. Go back to the diseased fucking shithole waste of a continent that is Africa. A waste of resources. We should go in there and mine the shit out of it for every fucking resource. Ugh. Fuck it. I love blood diamonds. Love them! <laughs> Danny, did you just write that? Yes. Hold on. I, 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 I want to address Danny's fucking... Uh, um, middle of Pennsylvania patriotism. <laughs> it said uh, they should complain. It's not big enough. Not big enough, by gum. <laughs> Oof. Oh, I'm sick of it. <laughs> Would anybody have complained if the 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 African nation, some nation in Africa's flag was was flying there? Oh, uh, that somebody put it up in the in their cubicle. Probably not. Oh, damn, if they complained, they'd be for, forget about it. They'd be in court. Uh, for for d uh, discrimination, just stop it. God, do we get shit on in the, in this country by fucking by by people that should be kissing our ass? Enough Look, already. It's one of those things. It's uh, but again, it's the fucking supervisors. It's like the immigrant complains exactly. and a couple of shitty families complain, and the supervisor can't just go well too bad. It's like there's always some fucking pussy, some mid management pussy. Who buckles? That's what happens. Yep. Well, that's the point I was making. Yeah. Pussification of the workplace. We've, we've watched this happen over the last few years, even in radio. Can't hang up funny little dittos anymore. No, the, everything has a mimeo, to be... A mimeograph. Everything <laughs> has to be approved. It's like it's like communism in the workplace. The old to... snap-on tools calendar with the oh, girls that's... and... Well, when it got to the the, the garages, where, yeah. the, where the guys in the garage trying to fix your car can't... Put up a, a, a racy, you know, calendar. They have a little nudie calendar in the top of their uh, toolbox, right? They can't they do that up, anymore. They're working. It's like, yeah, they're there. Can't do that. Someone complains. You can't hang up pictures of fucking whatever you want uh, in your own cubicle. That little shithole cubicle you sit in. That, that, that you have to sit in, that you want to maybe spruce up uh, and, and, and have some thoughts of something that makes you happy during the day? No. <laughs> Stare at that fucking burlap material that's on it. Well, we got that in here. I know! <laughs> these, these guys don't even understand that, that beige is the worst color beige ever. Beige burlap walls. <laughs> we have beige burlap walls Great. in here. We're living in the swamp from MASH. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't understand creativity whatsoever. Beige is the... Is there a worse color? No. Pink's even a better color than beige. Beige. At least pink says something. This uh, is like the type what does of, beige say? This is the type of thing they separate the gym with when you want to do fucking two different things hey, in the exactly, high school gymnasium. Right. Right. The, the accordion gym door <laughs> that shuts so you can't see the girls. The nice-smelling girls. Uh, uh, the workplace is ridiculous. I'm so we can't sick even, of it. we have to like put up curtains just to see maybe a, a crazy website. Yeah, when we that that's curtains. what our show is all about. Look away. So anyone anyone walking by our studio should understand that they might see something because that's what we do for and a living. What's gonna happen <laughs> if someone know. walks by and know. sees a fleeting glimpse? <laughs> I don't know uh, from from twelve, thirteen, four, fourteen feet away, eighty feet away. <laughs> What's going to happen if they see that? Are they going to stare or go, oh, then they're at it again, and just go about their business? What? What? what what's going to happen if well, if they look at docking? What I don't know. <laughs> what I don't understand <laughs> is that it's the minority every single fucking time. Yeah. It's the minority of people in this facility. We could talk about our facility, exactly. and I'm sure I, 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 I'm talking for a lot of workplaces. It's always the minority. That gets all this stuff done. Yes. If, if we did a poll around this facility, but we wouldn't be able to, we'd be uh, marched no, into no, human resources immediately. Uh, we would find out that the, the majority doesn't give a shit if they walk by our studio and, and we happen to have porn on a, on, a, on a screen. Yeah. Or if we have a naked girl in the studio or a guy naked, whatever the fuck we're doing that day. The majority of people that work here at SiriusXM will go, yeah, whatever. That's fine. Yeah. I don't care. But there'd be one stick in the mud 
fucking faceless, nameless, anonymous douche. But why? That would complain. Yeah, we all understand that. But why are we allowing that to happen as a society? Why are we allowing the one stick in the mud to dictate Fred what we're allowed to put up in our cubicles and what we're allowed to do at the workplace? Afraid of, afraid of lawsuits. Lawsuits. They're afraid that uh, somebody, if somebody doesn't do something, that the person that complains is going to go to court and say that, you know, they can't do this or that or this, and they've uh, suffered irreparable damage to, you know, whatever, because they looked at a, a naked picture from 15 feet away for two seconds. Yep. It, it, it's disgusting. This, 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 we're so fucking doomed. Doomed. <sighs> I look at the news and just go like, what? what? Well, that's their job. What the? F what the? F it's their job yeah, to make it go. I, know. I, I sort it out. I but mean, even what's left over. You know, Bill Hicks has that that beautiful bit where he talks about all the craziness happening on TV, and then you turn off the TV and open up your window, and all you hear is crickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you watch TV for more than an hour, the news especially. Oh my God, you get su such anxiety. Uh, that stupid Wolf me. Blitzer. Has a situation every every moment of the, the day. Situation room. <laughs> he can't have enough situations, that guy. The situation room. <laughs> Fucking asshole.